Stanley Kubrick, for instance, I had the good fortune to have worked a little bit on 2001. Well, i tell you what I did there. I, I used to work for MGMs, and a guy called Tony Pratt, he and I drew up the pod when they went out on a pod. We made a big cardboard full-size model, so you could see how we can put all the panels. I must say it looks very uh, dated now, in as much as the actors and the costume, but the sets were just incredibly beyond any imagination that you had, because this was way before people went on the moon. But we had a guy called Harry Lang, and Harry Lang came from NASA, and he was like their artist's impressions of spaceships and things like that. Stanley Kubrick was known as he's got an open checkbook on a film, which meant that he could spend anything he liked. Ken Adams was an incredibly expensive designer, where Elliot Scott was very frugal. I mean, very sort of cheap compared with it. So that's the difference. Barry Lyndon, he was preparing to do that film with Napoleon he was going to film afterwards. So a lot of the stuff was going to be easily converted, as it were. But Stanley Kubrick was a, a precise man and, and Ken Adams was his production designer. And I was the art director. And one day we were in Ireland and there was a sort of a, a set already there, in the, like the ghost houses, because we were on location. And Stanley came in and I said to Ken and to Stanley, I said, the set's already there, dressed, ready for you to see it, you see. And Stanley said, um, Ken, no, I don't want to go and see the set. Make a model. Make a model? But it's over there. They said, just make a model. So I said to Stanley Kubrick, I, like, I said to him, yeah, well, how big would you like it? So he said, big enough to put my head in it. I said, oh, that big? I didn't mean it the way that it sounded, but I mean, normally we make half the size of them. Came back three weeks later, looked in it, and he went, hmm. Came out of it and said, what, what have I learned from that? I said, I've got no idea, Stanley, but I do know how to cut cards. Uh, it turns out I was told that he wanted time to think about it. So that was giving him time, I guess. It started off in a tent with Ryan O'Neill. The tent was like this and uh, Stanley said he wanted it all lit with candles, you see. But the thing is, it got very hot in there because the heat didn't escape and the, the candle heat. So we had to cut the top of the thing also to let the heat out. Because when Ryan O'Neill is with his tunic and his makeup was starting to go because of the, the, it was so hot in there. Yes, it was good, but with candles, for instance, you talk with the lighting cameraman, you say, do you want a single wick, double wick, or a triple wick on the candles? So they, obviously more wicks you got in it, the brighter the light is, is what they wanted. But also the other thing is it melts quicker. Fortunately, we have candlestick makers now that can actually make candles with a retardant in it, so it just fills, goes very slowly. Well, when you know it's going to be dark, you know the right colours to put in, you see. I mean, dark sets are very good for cameramen because they can punch light at it. But it's a white set, it's uh, a nightmare. On 2001, they had what we call the centrifuge, which was right from the ground, right up to the top. And they're walking, well, it was all done with four mica in those days, right? I was an art director on it. Tandy came on the set and says, I don't like the colour. I want it off-white, like more like this wall colour. So the whole set had to be done again with four mica, again. And then, of course, he was right. And again, with that particular set, the computers, screens and things, it was all beyond its time, but we just, there were just lots of little projectors behind projecting the light. These days you just program it, but that time. So it's, it's full of ideas like that, you know, when you all sit around thinking of uh, the best way to do it. This is filmmaking, in my opinion, where you, you try everything out. These days it's, a lot of it's been tried out and done, and it's made better, of course, but uh, somebody had to start off.